a lot of retired people actually that had successful businesses and lived elsewhere or live here. Extremely smart people. They just want to help out. Liz Ryan tells us what they want to help out with. Going into schools and giving some kids the boost they need. John Reardon is on the board of directors of the RSVP program, and he explains what they're looking for. Volunteers 55 years of age and older. And of course, they do background checks. You could uh, sign up to read the children. Sometimes there's a lot of retired school teachers that participate in this. And then there's business owners with college degrees and master's degrees. And sometimes it's just ordinary citizens with no college degrees who just want to help out. There are several different capacities in which people can help. You could go to the schools. You could be a mentor for children who might be having some home problems. And you could sit with the child once a week. You can be a tutor for math if you were good in math. The time commitment is what you want it to be. It would be flexible to people's schedules once a week or twice a month, whatever people feel like they can give. They can assign you to a school that's close by. People all over the county are volunteering, so we want to make it convenient for them. But we also encourage people to help out in Title I schools, where the kids are probably the lowest income and uh, probably the need is great. All the volunteers are well prepared and trained in advance. The training is done by Cheryl Freeman and her staff there. They would meet with um, the, maybe the volunteer coordinator of the school or the principal of the school, and then they would try and be matched with a child. It's training to make sure that they know what their job would be for what they're being signed up for, which would be either a volunteer, a mentor, or a tutor, or, or, or a reading specialist. To find out more, go to rsvpstjohns.com or look them up on Facebook. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. A local artist is being featured in tonight's first Friday Art Walk in St. Augustine. You're in for a treat tonight at the St. Augustine and First Friday Art Walk. Local artist Janine Damiano Serra, owner of Lee Lou's Arts and Antiques on Charlotte Street in St. Augustine, will be featuring the Highwaymen collection at her gallery. The Florida Highwaymen were a group of African American artists from the 50s and 60s. One of them, his name is Alfred Hare, learned how to paint from a pretty well known artist named A.E. Backus, and he realized he could sell his paintings. So he taught his friends or told his friends and neighbors in Fort Pierce, Florida, about the painting. And so they all kind of learned and collaborated. Janine explains the highwaymen were an instant hit in the 50s and 60s, which was rare for black men. And then now in 2024, there's only six left living. They range in age between, I think it's 77 and 93. And they are in a permanent exhibit in the Smithsonian. On the first Friday of every month, galleries in St. Augustine open their doors, offering new exhibits and lively receptions to the public. Once you see the highlighted piece, the Highwaymen Collection, you can also hop on board the free Art Walk trolleys providing free transportation during First Friday Art Walk events from 6 to 9 p.m. Walk shuttle stickers are required for the continuous loop shuttles. You can board in front of the Butterfield Garage and Art Box, the Leitner Museum, and in front of the Bold Art Gallery. Finally, as an incentive to see Janine's work, the Highwaymen Collection is available for you to take home to your art gallery. So they're for sale. They are all all different styles, but a, a unique style of landscape, ocean scenes. They each have their own unique style. The first Friday Art Walk is from 5 to 9 p.m. tonight. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. The weekend is here and there's plenty of family fun to be had in St. John's County. This is Stacy with Fun for Augie Kids. Tonight, Code Ninjas is hosting a parents' night out event. Drop off your kids for a night of playing games, assembling puzzles, building robotics, and more. Tomorrow, the Spring Into Fun community event will be hosting a free egg hunt, Easter Bunny meet and greet, vendors, and a bounce house. See the Fort Mose Militia bring the 18th century back to life at the first Saturday Militia Muster. 
Children of all ages are welcome to participate in the children's militia training also. The annual Menorcan Festival will be offering festivities such as baked goods, books, Menorcan family photos, storytelling and songs, family crest, and much more. Sunday, join the fun at the Swing into Spring community event in World Golf Village. There will be face painters, bounce house, crafters, Easter bunny meet and greet, and an Easter basket raffle. For more on these events and others, please visit us on our website website at fun the number four augiekids.com have a great weekend and now you're up to date with saint augustine's local morning news i'm rich carroll